lot of people just want to get out of the house. Over the drive-in theater, you can be sitting in your car, and it's who you're with. You know who you're with. Drive-in theaters. That is a good question. Why? Where is the public safety issue? It's a drive-in theater. You're in the car with the same people. The most important thing for most of us right now is to simply get open. So we're hoping soon, very soon, in a matter of a couple of weeks, you could see about half the United States drive-in theaters up and running. For the vast majority of the Northeast drive-ins, most, nearly 90% of them would have been open by now. In the comparison to things, the fact that we're able to open before many other businesses as well, you know, that's okay. Well, we have vast fields in general, so depending on how your field is laid out, you may uh, cut your capacity a bit. By our nature, our snack bars are really fast food restaurants. Uh, so we can certainly do all the steps that they're taking, or fast casual restaurants per se, of walk up, pick up, no lines. We're asking everybody to wear a mask if they're outside of their vehicle. So I'm, I'm hoping that this is, gives a little security to everybody and just be able to have a good time, enjoyment. I think that's what we need right now is enjoyment and some socialization in life. It is a chance to reconnect with your family. And Governor Cuomo himself said he spent 30 days with his daughter. Um, and, you know, he probably never will again the rest of his life. The one thing that hasn't changed is it's just a great concept. People love it. Even if you can't walk up to the person, give them a hug, you're outside and watching a movie. It's different than watching a movie on your TV screen. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.